This show is sponsored by NatureBox. Order great tasting, healthy snacks right to your door. Forget the vending machine and get in shape for summer with healthy, delicious treats. And they're great for you, too. We're talking healthy and great tasting snacks like PB&J granola, pistachio power clusters, baked sweet potato fries, South Pacific plantain chips, and over 100 more. All with zero trans fats, zero high fructose corn syrup, and nothing artificial. You'll even find snacks that are gluten conscious and non-GMO. And with free shipping anywhere in the contiguous states, NatureBox is busting up the vending machine's monopoly on your midday hunger. Support this podcast and get 50% off your first order. Go to naturebox.com slash blog talk. That's naturebox.com slash blog talk. Time to snack smarter. Stay full, stay strong. Go to naturebox.com slash blog talk. That's naturebox.com slash blog talk. <laughs> Fridays at Noon with Charlotte View. I'm your presenter, Daniel, and I am here with your host, Claudia Pereca. The song we just heard is El Condor Pasa, sung by Marisa de la Cruz. Today, Charlotte View is proud to present the start of a new show, The Other Side, with Jay Essex. Prepare to take a journey you will never forget and discover the answer to one of life's greatest questions, what's on the other side. Call into Charlotte View and post your question to one of the leading trusted sources of guidance and inspiration, Jay Essex, the goofy old man in overalls. Jay, your guide on this side, is a resident of Dulles, Georgia. He is an energy worker and well-known runes maker, numerologist, and now the star of The Other Side Radio Talk Show, offering free readings and energy transmissions, guidance on relationships, money, and more. The Other Side is a show about clarity in a chaotic world, relationships, family, career, work, finances, destiny, and life path. If you have any questions for Jay, don't hesitate to call 805-830-8344. Or, if you would prefer, go online to our chat room at blogtalkradio.com slash charlotteview and post your questions and comments by registering with your email address or Facebook ID. For a private consultation with Jay, please contact him at uncleJ2010 at live.com or call him at 770-885-5619. Now, with you, here's your host, Claudia Pareca. Thank you, Danny. Thank you, everybody. Welcome to Charlotte View. Thank you, Kelly, for being here with us. Thank you, Jay, for being here. <laughs> and starting this fantastic show, and which is going to rock your life. And Getting answers of questions about the other side, I couldn't think of a better way to start your day or to continue the day, wherever you are. And there are so many questions to, about the other side that I, I, I would, I, sometimes you don't know even where to start. So, um, Jay, when you when people think about the other side, we are always referring to stories or um, articles or publications that others have said have gone to or have seen. But it's always a question: and what does it look like? What is there? Or 
who lives there, or are we part of that, are we not? So let's start by describing it. Can you start by, by telling us how the other side looks like? Yeah, um, there's a few fundamentals. First, uh, everyone talks about different dimensions. Uh, let me tell you what's actually there. There's the first dimension, uh, which the creator family actually calls home or origin, and that's where the first being was actually created. Uh, and by the way, there's four more new ones in there right now um, evolving to uh, into consciousness. Uh, but we all come from this first being that came here long, that came into being a long time ago. And then uh, when the first being came out, uh, it, made it, it made itself male and female, then actually made the second dimension, which is what people call the other side or heaven, whatever you want to call it, it's actually the second dimension, and this universe is in the third dimension. So that's the first basis of understanding what's where we are and what's in front of us and a little bit about what, where we came from. Um, now, Jay, there is this, um, in the spiritual world, many people are talking about the Earth moving up in another dimension. Is that something that is actually happening? No, um, as a matter of fact, uh, that comes from uh, the um, December 21st, 2012 uh, uh, legend. Uh, actually, it's been a legend throughout creation for a little over a billion years. Uh, there's over a trillion planets with life on them, and the, the average is a little over a million beings per planet. <laughs> and um, uh, the, the thing was, uh, through past lives, um, I kept saying, coming back in past lives, that nobody would see the world the same. That's all I said. Uh, the idea behind that is that uh, there's a barrier between the two parts of your brain that actually separate the body's energy that does come from this planet. It's planetary essence, which is always female. We call Earth. Most of us call Earth's energy Gaia. And then uh, there's also your spirit, which is usually soul. That's uh, when an embryo, when a male and female physical body create an embryo, as soon as that embryo, that embryo itself has the uh, energy from the Earth. That's it. And then as it develops to the point where it starts to build a, um, an energy center for where the brain's going to be, the mother creator at the time takes creator energy. It's like a barrier. It's very strong yellow gold energy and pushes the uh, earth and energy or Gaia's energy to the left side of the brain, which actually is your conscious mind, leaves the barrier there and then puts the spirit, usually soul, on the right side. That's what, how you get the two energies in your kundalini. Um, and then, uh, as it, then what I was talking about, is December 21st, 2012, that uh, that barrier was going to disappear, <clears throat> that it just starts flaking away. It just literally gets pulled out of you is what happened, um, is, is what actually did happen. As a matter of fact, it didn't wait till December 21st, uh, 2012. Uh, I did it in April, um, just started getting rid of it because there's problems uh, in the creator family on the other side, which is just about cleaned up now. And uh, Things are changing for creation uh, in, in, the, in the second in the second dimension and the third dimension, which is going to make everyone's life wonderful. A uh, third of your the, the problems, especially the nasty part of your problems, they'll be uh, slowly disappearing. Uh, there's so much that's happening. There's so much change. That's awesome. I mean, it's going to be so beneficial to everyone. We have problems on this planet. Uh, they're going to be leaving. So back to the – sorry about that. Uh, there's so much to say. Back to the uh, – Earth thing, uh, the Earth will eventually evolve, but that's not for a good while yet, and uh, it doesn't change dimension, doesn't change shape. It's just that it gets clean. And the thing about the Earth, <coughs> excuse me, the Earth seeing, seeming different, as that barrier gets pulled out of the two sides of your brain, then your soul and then the, the uh, uh, planetary essence start talking to each other, and then you literally. The, the DNA in everyone here, there's only seven beings on this planet right now that still have two-strand DNA, and they're locked in. They're going to stay like that. Uh, everyone else, the, the DNA is actually moving, changing, getting stronger. Um, the field of energy that's here, it's called Father Creator Energy. It's literally going into everyone and then cranking them up, and everyone's going to see a, a, a more of the world. It, it's not that the world's changing. But because that barrier is, has been pulled, most of it has been pulled out of the, uh, the two parts of the brain and they're talking, plus your DNA is elevating, plus the energy, the source energy that's here, is literally going into your head and, and waking up your pineal gland, which produces the image, the hypothalamus gland, 
which uh, actually makes uh, sense of uh, what the uh, the what the, I'm sorry the pineal gland actually produces the image, and the hypothalamus gland makes sense of that image to the rest of the um, uh, conscious mind plus sends that information down to the solar plexus for gut feeling. Then the pituitary gland puts uh, like HD clarity on everything, and uh, so people are going to start seeing. Our, our family of fae, fairy, that they're here, other beings that are here. Um, everyone's going to start waking up. We have friends and ships that have been uh, uh, protecting us for over a million years now. Um, we have a huge, huge family that no one's even aware of, or very few people anyway. Um, uh, and it's time for things to settle down. It's time for us to come together as family. And it, that's happening the way people's lives are being led orchestrated. It's not like anyone's a puppet on a string, but if creation itself is to move in a proper uh, beneficial direction and people are in bodies not having memories of who they, exactly they are, there has to be some kind of guidance. But yet you still have free will. It's just uh, uh, at this moment uh, you might not have as much as you think, but there are at least the, the captains that are guiding the ship now care more about the, the passengers instead of their ship. Sorry, that's a lot. Sorry. <laughs> it's, it's okay, Jay. So, I, I don't know where to go by then, because it, all of that is very, very new. And so, yeah. when you say that we are going to start listening or seeing things uh, that before we couldn't, what are you referring to? All right. Um, a lot of you, as you're... Uh, <clears throat> maybe sitting down relaxing, all of a sudden now the corner of your eyes, you see like a little black blotch go just right by you. You're like, what the? No, I didn't see that. And then it happens again, boom, um, uh, on the other eye or something. Um, that's negativity that's being sent by you. It's, it's controlled. It's being sent by you just to show you what's there. It's just like when you're driving down the highway and uh, <laughs> you see a... Uh, 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 the uh, billboard, it says Shoney's exit 54, and you see a Shoney's big boy holding a hamburger. Well, when you see that Shoney sign, you're not worried about the Shoney's big boy jumping off the billboard and hitting you, the, hitting you with that wooden hamburger. Um, it's just a billboard. It's something to tell you that something exists. That's all those black blotches are. As a matter of fact, when you see that black blotch, when you realize that you've seen it, and then you say, you can say the source, whatever you want, say that does not belong to me, I don't. I want to keep the negativity away from me, either right away or the next time you're in that situation, in that in that place, in that same place in your house, you will see a, bl a, a little flash of uh, white light go by, just following the exact same path that that little uh, black blotch was. And by the way, black doesn't mean it, it's bad. That's, don't, don't think that. Uh, um, that's it, what the blackness is, is just lack of light. That's all. Um, there's positive and negative vibrations, and that's what we really go by. It's frequency. Everyone's uh, got their own different frequencies. That's how I know all of you. When I see you, I remember you by your frequency. And um, that frequency is that when you send a thought or a message or praying or something out to the universe, that's how it's either identified and it, it comes back to you, right? Yeah, that's no, that's the neatest thing in the world because it's the father, the job of father creator, uh, the, the father part of the creator pair that's running things to be the field that's everywhere. Greg Braden and Bruce Lipton talk about the intelligent field of energy that's everywhere, like a net or something. It, it's, it's fluid energy. And uh, what happens is the heart grabs the major data. It's thought, but it's data out of your brain. And then it grabs the major emotions out of your base chakra, pulls it together, and creates a feeling. And it's only when you know how you feel about something that you truly understand it, and when you truly understand it, you know how you feel about it. There, there are two very, very similar things. There, it's like two pieces of, of one big thing. Uh, the heart creates understanding, and then the heart takes that energy, that feeling, and it sends it through that energy field. That's the web. That's actually the father party creator that's spread out everywhere. And then at that time, when you actually project at night, you go all the way across the universe and back in about five seconds. Uh, that's going through the field. That's the intelligent field that's there guiding you and, believe it or not, protecting you, too, especially the one that's there now. Um, it's very strong. It was made to be the protector for all creation. Um, so when people take off, 
that's what happens when you love it with your heart. Like a lot of people like to pray hard and everything. What what the, um, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm I'm not saying any, uh, and I'm not saying not to. But what I am saying is because you already have that feeling in your heart, you're unaware that you're already doing it 24 seven, and the heart the heart never stops. It just keeps going. Um, the heart puts out a hundred times uh, the electrical impulse that the brain does, and uh, the normal heart puts out about three thousand times the magnetic pulse that the brain does. It's an incredibly uh, uh, strong uh, uh, organ. Uh, probably the, uh, the the smallest of the many things it does is just pump blood. So from what you say, um, Jay, it is a very, very complex um, format or uh, the crea creation, um, ex to explain creation, to explain the other side, it is a very complex of um, well, concept that you are um, telling us that it, it's very intricate, 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 intricate. Intricate, like, yeah. Yeah. So, how do we put it in in very, very, very like? Why is life so hard? Is is it because we made it so difficult to to that we cannot understand it? Why is it that it, it's so hard for us? Okay, this now this is uh, going to upset some uh, religious people. Um, the, the, I cannot actually tell you right now. There's not um, uh, a whole lot of people. Actually, um, I see one man that's listening somewhere that's actually uh, very quote unquote religious, um, and his, uh, I think his wife's listening to it. He's listening in. But anyway, um, uh, the thing is, uh, the original being that we all come from was 27.5 percent negative negative vibration and that's enough to be a problem. 17% negativity is literally very light and it's very strong. It's like backbone. When you get to 27% you can start having problems. Until energy, as energy when we came out, until we started having lives and understanding, developing feelings, it, it didn't make us what we are uh, as energy until we got to where we are now. Um, there's That's why energy started making bodies to have lives, to grow, to get stronger, but also to develop. Well, when you don't have that hard energy, when you don't have hard energy, you can't understand and feel. So the original uh, first mother and father, the original being mother and father, which were 27.5% negative, the other two pair are like 0.825% uh, uh, negative. They're very, very high vibration. Um, the, uh, the, the first ones, they, they had a little bit of, of attitude towards them as they were putting people through lives and because they, they knew how to run lives but they didn't really understand them because they never had one, they got to the point where they started getting a little arrogant, uh, they were liking the feeling of it, uh, they were trying to grow the souls, to get all the souls very strong. And when you have a life, it's like lifting weights when we're young, you lift weights one day, take two days off. Lift weights, two days off. Um, after six months, you're pretty strong. After six years, you're very strong. When you have life as energy, you're stressing yourself hard, and that's literally what happens. You grow stronger, you grow bigger, plus you grow chakras. You get the, um, the first stage of evolution of a soul. It's like a malleable orb. That's when you first came out. And then when you evolve to the second stage, you actually have chakras. The main body of your energy is a solar plexus type chakra. And then you have a uh, root heart, and uh, brain. Uh, so it, it, I, I, I apologize. This is getting so complex. Uh, once you can take it and look at it on a piece of paper and just look at it, it's the simplest thing in the world. And all of a sudden, the square pegs go in a square hole. Uh, yeah, and the uh, triangle pegs go in a triangle hole. Everything fits, and you can understand what's going on. Uh, Claudia, there's something... Uh, on your head. Me? Yeah, th there was something. Uh, there was something I was missing, and, and you're picking it off about what you were talking about uh, about your question. Um, yeah, my, the, my only, the only thing that I was thinking is that it is just so fantastic, Jay, that you're going to be coming to Charlotte and give in-person classes. Because I, I, I was just thinking of. This is a lot of information that I need to see 
in person and with papers to understand it because it, it really you, it gets lost in in all the words. But why don't we we have Kelly here with a question for you if you don't mind? Yeah, fire away. How you doing, Kelly? I'm doing good. How are you, Jay? Oh, pretty good. Okay, uh, my question is, I'm sure I'm not the only one who seems to be having these um, prophecy-type dreams about aliens, and just about the time that I am able to see them, I wake up. Is that just to, is that like preemptive of, you know, getting me ready to actually see them because they'll be here pretty quick? Uh, the, the alien concept, um, it's not just a concept, it's a reality. Uh, they're not alien, they're our families. Uh, they came here 11 million years ago. Um, uh, the problem children are not in space, the problem children are here on this planet. Um, the, uh, uh, they've been running all the governments and everything else for a long time. Uh, they're aware of me, I'm aware of them. Uh, uh, our friends in space are literally family. As soon as the war stops, and that's supposed to be made to stop before too long, then uh, uh, not by them, by something here, uh, then uh, we can actually join up and uh, be part of our bigger family. Um, there was all these UFO sightings, over a thousand of them over Japan on 311. Uh, that they're real. Sorry, you know, like 97% of them were actually real. Uh, they were here trying to help. A lot, a lot of them were Sepoians. Uh, the the, the larger, largest group of the different individual family members we have from out of space were uh, Sepoians. They're the little gray men, and they're extremely strong with ESP, and they're also uh, their skin. They're the gray skin like that because they have a, a two sons uh, on their planet. Uh, they have multiple uh, bombardment of uh, uh, atomic rays from uh, stars, uh, uh, and they, their skin is just developed like that over time. Uh, the bodies actually do come from the planet it's on, so that's why the bodies are different on the different uh, from the different uh, um, what we call alien races. They're just different planetary uh, beings. You know, we're all family, um, uh, and, and these grays have incredible ESP abilities. So uh, uh, one uh, materialized uh, just above my roof, and I felt the touch, and I could feel him. I could go in his head and watch him reading me. I turned around and did the same thing on him, and then he left. It was funny. Um, but uh, it's like, uh, oh, here's one for you, too, beaming technology. They do beam, but you know what? I always wonder, how do they do that? How do they actually dematerialize the brain and then rematerialize it? Uh, they actually have a device that creates an energy field around them that's uh, orange with a little bit of red in it, and then it, it literally engulfs them, slips them just underneath this dimension and slides right underneath the, it's like, sliding right underneath the skin of this uh, dimension and then comes out somewhere else. Um, they're, st they're like uh, the Sepoians are extremely telepathic. Um, there's other ones, that, the plenty of them out there, too, that are older races. Uh, they're in contact with us. They're living with us. We have friend I have two friends that live on ships, okay? Um, uh, there's, all kind there's all kinds of stuff going on. They're here. They've been here. They've been protecting us for over a million years. Uh, if, if you ever see a UFO, that's triangular shaped, uh, like a stretched out triangle, and usually has a few, maybe uh, three, five, seven different uh, big lights in the bottom. That's one of ours, one of ours, the U.S. government. Now, there's eight countries that have them. The last one I just got one is Brazil. That's about a month ago. As energy, I took a ride on it when it took off. Thank you, Jay. Uh, uh, what What do you think um, if if we well that answers the question that Kelly had saying that yes they are here and they are preparing to come back and talk to the ones that are ready to listen and um, do you mind if we start with the callers that are waiting for their call and I'm setting yeah, up yeah. a a, a ringtone so you know when we're getting. Uh, when, when we are ready to move on to the next caller so we can give a time for everybody. Okay, and can I, I, let me just throw something real quick out there that I didn't finish the question you had asked earlier. Um, uh, the thing with the original uh, mother and father, uh, they wanted to grow the souls to be real big so that they, this is why life is, you know, can be hard, is so hard here. They wanted to grow the souls to be real big so that at this point there's over 2,000 new universes. They wanted the souls to go to the universes and match, get back with their, uh, with their original mate, the original soul mate, and then actually have their own souls and then have a bunch of souls everywhere, and they'd all be saying, praise Mother, Father, God, um, that, and 
so that they were beating people up and uh, souls up in, in the bodies so that they'd make them bigger, stronger, so that they could have that. But that's all been stopped. Sorry about that. I left that off the other one. Thank you, Jay. So we have Tisha here. So I'm going to um, cue Tisha in. Tisha, welcome to Charlotte View. Hi. How are you? Hi, Tisha. Hey, Tisha. Hi. Hey, hey, Tisha. Hi, how you doing? You got the Sounds neos aura, man. You have a ton of white light coming out of you. It goes straight up and down your aura, and then you have uh, some yellow coming off softly uh, off of that. Uh, it's almost like a real nice fountain. It, it's really very strong, very high vibration. You're very light. Okay, thank you. Um, thank you. I was just wondering what maybe you think coming up for me this year. Oh well, next year, or you know, this was coming up for me. Okay, that's a big topic. Okay, that's called it, it, it's called life. Uh, I know that I, you got a lot of happiness coming in. Um, uh, I can't. When trying to pick off an event right now, um, when the, when the original mother and father used to run lives, uh, even though they screwed up, even though they weren't all that nice about it, they had everything regimented. Since they're gone, and there's new stuff taking over, we actually have a council of essence now. That's uh, of different council members that are learning how to run lives. So predicting the future right now is more violent than anything else. Um, it, it, you know, it's uh, uh, it, the, flu the future is literally always being changed. Uh, because my family actually does this, when I look at lives, I look at your, I look at everyone, everyone's life the same. I see a line going straight down the middle, and then little bits of pieces in it, it's like an invisible line, and then there's little forks that go off on each side, the right side being spiritual, left side being uh, um, uh, physical. Um, I got the, the three branches coming off on the right are just uh, very happy spiritually. It's your heart flowing where it needs to. Um, not on the, on the uh, second one, but on the third part of the physical thing, you've got something going on with uh, travel, something like a boat or something, um, uh, going out and getting away. Uh, okay. What I see now, what I see now, when I when I'm looking right at you, is just uh, you writing. Um, I'm seeing you sitting at a desk writing. Uh, see your heart's opening up, flowing. Uh, you're within. You're kind of staying within yourself, but your energy is building up, and you've been waiting for things to start to happen so you can go ahead and come on out. I hate to say this, but it's, it's like the. Uh, um, uh, the lotus blossom. You're getting ready to come up to the top and open up. Uh, you need to feel more comfortable about it. Um, uh, you don't have a big support mechanism around your house for this. Um, uh, you're you're feeling your way through it. Um, you do most of what you do through your heart and through your solar plexus. You don't see a ton through your, uh, um, you're not seeing a whole lot of vision yet, uh, imagery. Thank um, you, Jay. Do you yeah. want Kelly? Kelly's feeling something very strong. Can I? Can she share? Yeah, 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 yeah. Far away. Uh, it feels like uh, in the back of my shoulder, uh, tapping into Akisha, um, a lot of pain. Uh, and it kind of feels to me like a lot of sadness. Um, of, I don't know where I'm going yet, uh, that you haven't really pinpointed the um, life goal that you have in mind. And I've been just trying to uh, work that out because it's really painful on my left shoulder, right behind the heart chakra. Does that resonate with you, Tisha, that you have been hoping to find what is it that you, you are doing? Yes. And I don't know. I well, don't even uh, know what I want to do. Exactly. So right now, just to let you know, uh, Kelly is working w with that energy and is getting rid of that, of the pain and the sadness. Because sometimes the pain and the sadness, that emotion that is trapped in there, is blocking you from seeing things as you need to. But then, Jay, you say that she's going to have a happy f uh, life and then things are going to start resolving with her once she finds out what is it that she wants, right? Yeah, see, it's just going it, to, it, it, as she goes through time, it's just time happening, uh, flowing like a river. Uh, it'll start washing away uh, the stuff that's uh, hanging around you. Uh, what you can't see that I can see right now is your DNA is literally being cleansed. 
Um, there's there's been some negative uh, things going on in your life, and like I said, you don't have a real strong support system over there. So you're kind of like a seed that's trying to come up in the ground where it's uh, kind of dry and it needs to be soft and fertile. Uh, it's almost more like the Georgia clay down here. Uh, you'll you'll be fine, and you're gonna what you where you need to go. The path you need to see is literally being built for you right now. It, it'll come. Uh, it's just. Uh, uh, the best thing for you right now uh, is just taking some time and just relax and breathe in and out nice and slow. Um, I can do more for you, but it, 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 we need to talk for about um, 35, whatever, 30, 45 minutes, uh, and okay. I can actually go inside you and actually do some work. I, I just can't do it. There's no time to do it right here. Yeah, we just, uh, that ring that you were listening, uh, everybody, that. Uh, signals that the time that we have for this person, but uh, Tisha, if you need more assistance by Jay, to call him at 770-885-5619, and then he can uh, work individually with you. He, you can call him and set up a time in, um, in, with him. Um, so now we're going to go with Annette, Jay. Um, so, Annette from Massachusetts, welcome to Charlotte U. Hi, how are you? Hi, Jay. Hey, Annette, how you doing, sweetie? I'm well, and yourself? Oh, pretty good. You're interesting. Yeah. You got you got a lot of pink out there in your aura coming right out of your heart, just pumping away, and then you have some dark green. Uh, Ooh. Uh, again, uh, the, uh, it, it's happy healing in forest. Um, yes. And then you have yellow floating around on top of that out there. That's kind of unusual, the way... Uh, um, uh, the your energy or is flowing. Um, it's almost like you want to sprout wings, to take off. Yeah, uh, that's earth, true. Earth. That's very true. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, it's funny how what, what what colors are are literally a byproduct of a certain frequency. Um, uh, the heart chakra is actually very deep uh, maroon, ruby, red, and uh, it's. Um, uh, that that's its normal color. When it produces the desire to heal, to heal spiritually, like to uplift, it puts out green. It's kind of like a healing thing. When it when it has soft compassion for everything, then it's it's beautiful pink. When it has real strong compassion, it's like orange with a little red in it. Um, but you're getting you're getting ready to take off. You got tons of angels hanging around too. Everyone's got angels and spirit guides that uh, um, is looking to use them. Uh, yeah. They come with you when you put in the body. Uh, you have two archangels with you all the time. You have one that's hang back a little bit, and then you have two other angels uh, running around. Uh, they're really busy uh, working on the protection gate for you, and you're supposed yeah. to be taking off doing stuff too, uh, uh, moving around, helping people. Um, yes. yes. Oh my God. You are. You are. Wow. <laughs> uh, yeah. And you got something that, uh, um, also around the hospitals where you can really do some good. I'm seeing. I'm seeing you in this cute little outfit with the nurse. You know. The nurses like like the candy striper thing with a nurse. You go in and uh, like wow. Florence Nighting, whatever whatever it was. I forget her name. I don't know. Um, I'm no good on this side. I, I, live, I live on the other side. It's just the body's here. Um, <laughs> but and the whole idea with that is bringing spiritual love and healing and yeah. joy to people when they need it. And you have two unicorns hanging around with you. Unicorns are the manif manifestation of Mother Creator's love. And I'm looking where, and it comes from Lily. She's my counterpart. Um, uh, they're really strong, and you literally bring joy. A, a, a stone you will really love, two of them. Number one, star as a knight, but, or number two, star as a knight, but number one, they call it peacock rock or boar knight mm -hmm. uh, or calcopyrite. Um, if you just go by peacock rock, that'll be good. But okay. uh, um, uh, it, it, it'll just light, lighten up your day. Wow. Oh, this is, this is a ab absolutely beautiful. And my question is that what I've been noticing probably for the last couple of weeks is yes, that yes. I've ahead. been feeling that there is someone behind me. Yeah, there is. Walking behind me, and I would turn around and nobody's there. But I yeah, feel um, it. It's an, it's, it's an uncle. Um, uh, and sorry about cutting you off saying yes. When you when you focus on a question, I'll have a simple answer for it, and then I have to wait till you finish the question before I know what I'm talking about. Get a lot of that, huh? Um, uh, but you have an uncle walking around behind you. Um, uh, he's... Um, 
from last. He was in your last life, and he was in your. Uh, 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 he was your uncle in your last life, previous life, and he was also like a son in the life before that. And uh, he's a guardian. He's with you. He's not one of your spirit guides. He's just an extra that's hanging around, uh, going to be with you. And every once in a while, you feel him tap you on the shoulder yes. on the right hand side, or real close to your spine, and, and high up. Yes. Yes, because I keep you feel his energy around. attached like, right there. It's like I'll turn around and it's like, who is behind me? It's it's at, well, I can actually it, it's feel. You can see him with your pineal. Yes, it's, sometimes it looks like it's a white. I, sometimes I think there's like a white feather or a, or a piece of white lint on the corner of my eyelid, yeah. and it flutters, and I look he's and there's nothing there. Sweetie, he's human essence. He's, he's very strong. The, the messiahs are our essence. Uh, essence was uh, created before the souls were, and essence was a thousand times, at least a thousand times as strong as soul energy. But then they had, you know, usually a few trillion lives, a couple trillion lives uh, before the first soul, souls were created. So they're huge. Thank you, Jay. So that, and and it, it, yep. Gotcha. And that, that was very useful. So and again, and next. If you want more information about uh, what Jay has told you, please call him at 770-885-5619. And then we are going to caller 703-858. Hello? 708-858. Can I have your first name? Tina. Tina, where are you calling us from? Um, Virginia. Thank you, Tina, for calling. This is Charlotte View, and uh, do you have a question for Jay? Uh, yes. I wanted him to uh, tell me I, I communicate with the angels, and I don't. I hear their music. They played music for me and rang church bells, but the only way I communicate is if I ask them to blink once or blink two times for no and one for yes. Um, when are they around? I'm a little, I'm a medium, but I don't hear, or I don't, um, and I wondered, am I supposed to communicate with them? Okay, okay. you feel with your heart, sweetie, that, that's, that's, that's what's going on. Angels, when people hear angels talk to them, 99.7% of the time, they're hearing their spirit guides, but the spirit guides are strong and uh, very uh, bright energy. So they think they're angels. Uh, angels don't talk. Uh, um, uh, no, very I ask them to blink. I ask them to blink. Yes, yeah, 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 yes, yes, ma'am. But you had said that uh, um, you didn't. Uh, uh, you know, you couldn't talk with them and everything. I was just explaining why. Um, well, I asked them uh, questions. I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And see, uh, um, they're 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 all over the place all the time. They do make uh, uh, the, uh, a lot of angels. Are actually there's uh, two different types. Uh, three different types of angels that actually produce harmonics. When we're on the other side, uh, the, the sound vibration they put out is actually annoying to us out of these ears than when we hear it directly. But when we when we hear it through the veil, it's made to be pleasant for us to receive because the vibration is different for the second side uh, for for the second dimension uh, when we're not in these bodies. Um, what you you what you need. Um, your heart is really strong. It puts out really. It's really putting out a ton of a really strong uh, uh, light purple and red, a deep red uh, energy with some white kind off the side. It's overpowering your solar plexus and your pineal gland. Um, I can fix that, but I have to go into your head um, and literally modify those glands. Uh, I actually do that. I, I, distance doesn't matter, um, but uh, that'll help you see more. Um, but one thing is you got a little bit of anxiety in, in life right now. It, it's time. Uh, it would really enhance you at this point to do some soft meditation. And when you meditate, please just sit down and relax. Get comfortable. Make it quiet. And just breathe in deep and out deep, in and out deep, like five times. And then hyper-focus your mind on anything. Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, oh, heck, um I'm trying to think of the guy's name right now. He's very strong with this. Uh, but anyway, you can take a lemon, and you can think of a lemon. Um, 
uh, Dr. Brian L. Weiss is who he is. Uh, you can think of a lemon, what it looks like, what it tastes like, and you just you focus on that as intently as you can while you're relaxing, and then all of a sudden you release it. And then at that point, your pineal gland your pineal glands engaged, um, and then you'll start seeing more and then feeling more, but it also helps you relax. Thank you, Jay. And that is very important what you say, that you can actually go into people's brain uh, energetically and, um, and activate their pineal glands and their pituitary glands. And um, Kelly actually had one of those, and she was telling me how... And she even heard a popping sound, right, when that happened. Oh, t the activation? Yes. Uh, it was more that I felt it. It kind of was like <laughs> a bulldozer going in and just my head was just like, whoa, you know, I'm clearing out a bunch of stuff, but I'm also expanding everything, um, you know, for what Jay does. Uh, that's what it felt like for me is just like, you know, pulling out a whole bunch of stuff that was basically useless, but really enhancing the things that, you know, I need, like the pineal and the pituitary. So basically when I'm around Jay, I always get a headache. And it's not a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> I love you anyway. So again, if Tina, you're interested in, 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 in doing this, please call Jay at 770 Eight eight five five six one nine, and by now you have your PayPal account also, right? And Jay, We're ju I'm just I'm just I'm just now getting it set up. It's going to be a couple of days, but uh, they can call me direct, and uh, uh, I can run it through there. It's going to be about another three four days. I'm changing everything on the, the sites to get it set up to uh, to handle everything properly. Thank you. But, so so going, going back to our uh, topic about the other um, side and your activations that now we're talking about having an activation, how would that uh, help us in this life to go through an activation like the ones you are talking about, Jay? Well, see, the thing is the energy that's here is slowly evolving everyone anyway. Um, but when I when I actually go into your head, the first thing I do is I look at what's in there. I, I take a look at the uh, um, your actual uh, pineal gland, the hypothalamus, the pituitary, your, your actual brain, uh, the heart. I look at all your energy fields. Uh, I see what's out of balance. Um, I look at your DNA. I read it, and then I actually go in and, and I modify your DNA. Then I uh, whatever needs to be. Um, enlarged or made stronger. I put energy in there. I build energy conduits where the energy flows better. Uh, I take the energy of different stones, uh, different, uh, sometimes different uh, fruits. The energy is alive. Um, and I, I, I feel what you need, uh, nutrition. Uh, I, I look at people's skeletons and tell them where they're off, which way it goes, and where there's problems. Uh, if you mention the person, um, if you just think two words about him, I'm in your head, I just touch the top of your head, I see him and I go look at him, but I go inside your head and I literally enlarge it, and usually you get a little bit of a headache, but when that happens, it's like there's a balloon inside that's expanding, well that's what's happening, your brain gets bigger, uh, my brain's a big case of that, um, uh, it's huge, It's uh, my skull's over two and a half inches uh, taller, and uh, over three and a quarter inches in girth more than it was a couple of years ago, and I've actually got the MRIs to prove it. Um, but uh, it, it's it's about waking every. It, it's about making you stronger, increasing your ability to see the other side. Because it's time for all of us to know what's really going on. Forget all these books. Go inside your head. Find out what's going on. Your head is the pathway. It's that beautiful uh, illuminated door to reality, the true reality, to what's to what exists. Um, telepathy, um, uh, all kinds of things are available to everyone, and this is going to happen. It's being made to happen, and that's one of the reasons why I'm here. I don't belong in a body anymore. This is my last life. Um, uh, everyone needs to wake up and see not how awesome they are and what a beautiful family they have and how cool they are, too. I mean, this is a wonderful, wonderful time to be alive in spite of of the abuse that's been done to us, it's about to turn around. It's already in the process of turning around right now. But this helps them see what's there and do some incredible things. Thank you, Jay. Well, now we have uh, Tina Marie Hickman, our very loved 
and monthly um, psychic. She she will be having her spirit connection show this Monday. And Tina Marie is here to ask a question. Hey, Tina. Hello. How are you guys doing today? Very well. Thank Pretty you. Good. So you have a question for Jay? I just wanted Jay to give an overview of me of what's going on because I know in the last four or five months, and I've been practicing my abilities for a while, but things have become so clear and easy, uh, tremendously easier uh, to get the information. Ed, you're getting cranked. <laughs> you're getting cranked up. Yeah. Um, uh, um, it's The field is better. It's getting stronger. Um, uh, I'm a little sneaky sometimes at what I do. So I, I've been, you know, putting some energy in you. That's all. That, that It's just an, uh, something to help you. I'm not trying to take credit for your abilities whatsoever, but uh, I'm here to boost things up. You have a very important role in what's coming, um, what's already here, but even more importantly, what's coming, um, especially when we're all taken off on cruise ships, uh, taking our act uh, um, across hey, the sea. Hey, I meant cruise ships. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah Tina, there, there's, like there, there's a bunch of us. There's a bunch of us. Uh, uh, Tina Marie, you, uh, you uh, sweet, uh, sweet me. Uh, uh, Claudia, uh, 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 her her husband. I don't know. Say what things in the air. Um, and then uh, Michelle also uh, will be taken off, and uh, uh, and there'll be some other people too. Barry, uh, we'll, we'll put together a group, and uh, we we will be taking some cruises, going around, and uh, eventually going to some other countries. Uh, it's time for people to wake up, and everywhere we go, I'll be cranking people up. Uh, 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 ship Charlotte. Uh, uh, of uh, this this year, I think it was in March or something. Uh, 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 I on the way up there, February 28th is when I was driving up in the truck, and I literally uh, reached in at 328th uh, of the of the psychics that were going to be there at Ship Charlotte, and it went into their heads uh, on, while I was driving up there. And then when I got there that next day, there were a lot of the folks are talking to each other. I hear them. They say. My head feels kind of funny, like it's thick, almost like a headache. What about you? And said, yeah, I got it too. And I'm just kind of like, I don't know, I'm like a sneaky little bad boy or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, and I, I'm just loving. I'm absolutely just loving it. What we do, we truly help other beings, and it's all about oh, yeah. the path and learning love and all the good things that are there for everyone. Yep, that's why we're here, and, and uh, that's that's why it's finally finally time for the train to take off. I've been fighting to get to this point for four and a half years. Uh, I wake up in the morning fighting. Uh, my family on the other side, the problem issues, and it, it's just about finished now. And uh, uh, we're, we're wonderful family, good people, and it's time for a lot of stuff to happen. And believe it or not, our friends in space, they record just about everything that's going on. I mean, I've seen visitors pop in take notes and pop out. It's the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> it's time for the, the party starting. And, and I, I'm so glad that we are getting to the end of that. Uh, Jay, we have an, a, um, in the chat room, we have a, a question for you from Asira. Yeah, we have Asira in Great. the chat room, and she just uh, wants you to check on the new guardians, or the new guides that have shown up lately. Um, there's a guy. There's 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 one guy. Um, there's a, a a male is a stronger, and then is a female behind it. Um, the male and female are both soul energy. Uh, the male is white light with a lot of light blue, which is hope. Um, it's just like uh, Claudia. Uh, her her aura has got this beautiful, beautiful uh, light blue in it. And it's literally like when you look in the sky and you see that light blue, and then you take off and you say, wow, this is probably going to be a good day. Um, it's, it, it has that same energy to it. And then there's a, um, a, a female behind it. So, so this is the one that's with her now is to help give her hope and help, help with hope. And it's like, let's go. Let's take off. It's time to get going. Uh, it's like, Pick up the pace just a little bit. Uh, and then there's a woman behind with heart, a lot of pink in her heart energy. And uh, that's very strong with uh, um, keeping the compassion rolling. Um, this person we're talking about has been feeling uh, 
uh, a little depressed and sad about things and waiting for things to happen. See, because it's the two energies in our bodies, uh, the spirit part is well aware of what we're supposed to be doing, and we're a year and a half, two years late doing it, and everyone's just freaking out like the, the, the spirit inside everyone is saying, what's going on? What's going on? We're late, late. And uh, a lot of uh, people are literally mentally depressed because, they, and they don't even know why, it's because their spirit inside their body knows we're late and what's going on. And that's kind of my fault, being my family. But whatever, it's being fixed now, and uh, now the party uh, is going to start cranking up. Great. And Asira, this, does this answer your question? And she can tape. Um, she can post more comments if she needs on the on our chat room. Um, she has. So she has. She has. She has two specific questions, but uh, I can't get to them right now. Okay. Did you get an email or a call um, or something? Yeah, Asira, if you want to call Jay, it would be 770-885-56719, and, and he can give you the answers to your second question. So now what we are going to do is um, we are going to continue with the show. We don't have any other caller. We've had people that are listening, but they don't seem to have a question. And so, so tell us about, um, you're telling us that, okay, so the, the things are going to start improving and everything is going to get better. What is better? What is, so, so what is it that you see as things going better? With, with better, there's going to be less abuse. And because, because this knowledge is, uh, it, it, because this information is brand new, no one has, well, very few people have it except those close to me. Um, that, that, uh, there's no way to ask a question off of something that's that new, um, not unless you're actually sitting down talking face to face. Um, the thing is that instead of souls being pushed hard and beat hard to have a harder life so that they can be made bigger so when they come out they can go into a new universe and release little bits and pieces of them. They'll be, it's just, I swear it was like growing cattle to get them real big so that they could, you know, have a lot of meat, whatever. It's the same basic process. Um, I, don't, I don't mean to be disgusting about it. It's just uh, that's what was going on. And now that is gone. Now there's nothing beating everyone up. Uh, uh, you have a council, the different forms of essence that are around there. That's going to be in my class uh, November 24th. It's going to be at the... Um, uh, was a healthy home market uh, on South Boulevard or something in uh, uh, Charlotte. Uh, it's it's going to be uh, $25 to uh, take the uh, beginner's course, like, like the, the, the introduction, and then a total, a grand total of $50 to take the larger course. And some uh, free star S night is going to be given away in personal readings afterwards. Um, but uh, then you can understand a little more about what's happening. But the thing is, now we have things in charge of people's lives, uh, in, in charge of guiding people's lives that care about the individual. It's not about growing you bigger to make you stronger so you can go praise something. It's about you really pursuing what you want to do in life. You'll have a life where you can pursue being an artist or doing this, an engineer. It'll be flowing that way. And then a third are the, are the problems you have in life you just won't have anymore. And the worst problems you have, yeah, we're going to get rid of like 95% of those. So uh, um, it's going to be wonderful. It, it's going to take time. It's going to take a few years. Uh, but you know what? It's going to happen, and you're going to start feeling it. Uh, just start feeling it soon. I, I'll bet within a year and a half to two years, you'll notice right away how much easier everyone's life is going to be. And within 20 years, which seems like a long time, but it's really not within 20 years. There's going to be so much change that uh, you'll actually look back and say, huh, I forgot it used to be like that. All right, Neil, I've got a question. Uh, what can those of us that are in tune do to help uh, progress the rest of us forward? Um, besides just, you know, getting out there and talking to people, is there anything that we can do energetically uh, to move us into the better yet? Yep. Um, the, the best thing you can do is just a little bit of self-exploration. Um, you, you know, it's a normal thing for us to help other people when we can. Watch your money. Be careful. But please, please, please try and take some time to sit down and relax. Breathe deep in. 
deep out, just, you know, don't try to suffocate yourself, just take it easy, and then next thing you know, you just, uh, uh, your whole body's relaxed. You, you sit, you just, you're just very calm and peaceful, and then hyper-focus your mind on something, and then release it. Talk to your spirit guide, say, show me what I need to see. And then whatever's really important in your life, the most important thing to you right now, your spirit guide's going to take you right there and, and show it to you, probably something with a past life. Um, it's easy to do. These classes I'm going to start giving uh, uh, everywhere. I do them here in Atlanta. Uh, I will. In Char I do in Charlotte. Um, I can help you go inside yourself and access you. And once you do that, you have your own truth. Forget what I say and everyone else says. Go find it for yourself. I just help you get there. I'm like your guide to the other side. That's all. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Jane. And, and I think that's very important for people to understand that there are no um, hi hierarchy in this, that the road is, is unique for everybody, and you have to find your own voice and your own uh, reality and your own beliefs and your own exploration. And we just sometimes like to play together, and that's why we get together with other people, but just to enjoy and play and but at the end, it's you who decides what's best for you. Yeah, it, it's really neat. We have a wonderful family. Um, when people start finding out more about what's real, uh, then that actually gives you hope. When you understand what actually has happened and why, you have firm footing to walk on. Um, there's no magical, wonderful God or this universal light that's going to give you whatever you want. I'm sorry, that's wrong. If you think that, you'll get yourself caught in a circle, a vicious circle, where all you do is chase your tail and you, and you never get anywhere. If you look at what really exists and you just deal with it for that moment, and then if you feel it's proper, then you accept that, and then boom, you, you actually start a new life. You can understand why things happen. You know how to deal with things. And, and understanding is is, is 90 percent of uh, is it's 90 90 percent of life is just understanding what's going on, and then you'll all, and then the more you understand, then you can actually see for yourself where the good change is is imminent, where it's happening, and you'll feel it in your heart. Thank you, Jay. Well, we're com we're getting to the end of today's show. Is there anything that you think um, we have missed that that we should say before we leave? Um, honestly, there's so much to say, and I get really erratic when I'm trying to figure out what to say, especially right now for the first show. Um, uh, I'll eventually be putting together some DVDs and CDs that will make it easier for people to see. But if you can, if you can attend one of the classes, I'll have handouts. And when you actually see it in front of you, and take the time to think about it. Inform those people listening, they already have input, information input in the back of their heads where the crown is, and that's staying there. And bit by bit, you'll pull out a little here to chew, a little bit there to chew, and then you have questions. But you know what? You'll get your answers too. Angels are stronger than they've ever been. They're helping spirit guides. Everyone is cranked up on the other side to help you over here. Uh, this is going to happen. But um, if if uh, if Anybody can make it to the class November 24th. That will really help. And, of course, we have another show uh, first uh, uh, Friday of next month. Yes, we do. So um, the first the first Friday of every month, we will have uh, the other side with Jay Eckrick. So uh, this is the first of many. So we're going to continue talking about the other side, what's there, how can we explain things. Now, if you have a specific question about what is it that you're seeing, if, if, if what you're hearing is real or not, this is the show that you want to talk, call, because then Jay can help you understand what is it that you're hearing or seeing or feeling and give you direction. And thank you so much, Jay, for calling in. I can't wait to have you back the next month and then see you at our event at the 23rd and then at the 24th here in Charlotte. And good luck, everybody. Have a nice weekend. And we're going to play again the song uh, El Condor Pasa de Maritza de la Cruz. This is a song. Uh, it speaks very dearly to me because it's about a condor, which is a, one of the spirit um, birds. 
and it, it's about uh, that. So thank you, everybody, and ciao. Thank you, Asira, for being on the, on the chat room. I love you, too. Bye. Okay, bye. <laughs>